Brought to you by wikivd.com Jennifer Jason Lee Jennifer Jason Lee is an American actress. Lee began her career as a teenager in the 1970s, guest starring on several television shows. Her film Breakthrough came in 1982 for her performance as Stacey Hamilton in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Lee continued performing past her teen years receiving critical praise for her roles in the 1990 films Miami Blues and Last Exit to Brooklyn. In 1991, she appeared in Ron Howard's Backdraft, and in 1992 she acted in the drama thriller Single White Female. In 1993, Lee appeared in the ensemble film Shortcuts, directed by Robert Altman, and in 1994, she starred in the Coen Brothers' The Hudsucker Proxy. Lee was nominated for a Golden Globe for her portrayal of Dorothy Parker in Mrs. Parker and the Vicious Circle. She starred in a 1995 film written by her mother screenwriter Barbara Turner titled Georgia. In 2001 she wrote and co-directed a film with Alan Cumming titled The Anniversary Party. In 2002, Lee appeared in the crime drama Road to Perdition. In 2007 she starred in the comedy Margot, at the wedding which was directed by her then-husband Noah Baumbach. She had a recurring role on the Showtime comedy drama series Weeds as Jill Price Gray. In 2015, she received critical acclaim for her voice work as Lisa in Charlie Kaufman's Anomaly Surround, for her role as Daisy Domig in Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight for which she was nominated, for the Golden Globe Critics' Choice BAFTA and the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. For her stage work Lee was nominated for a Drama Desk Award for her off-Broadway performance as Beverly Moss in Mike Lee's Abigail's Party. Her Broadway debut occurred in 1998, when she became the replacement for the role of Sally Bowles in Cabaret. Early Life Lee was born in Hollywood, California. Her father Vic Morrow was an actor, and her mother Barbara Turner was a screenwriter. Her parents divorced divorced when she was two. Lee's birth name was Jennifer Lee Morrow. She changed her surname early in her acting career, taking the middle name Jason in honor of actor Jason Robards of family friend. Lee's parents were Jewish. Lee is the middle child of three sisters. Her older sister, Carrie Ann Morrow who was credited as a technical advisor on her 1995 film Georgia died in 2017. Lee also has a half-sister, actress Mina Badi. Badi acted alongside Lee in The Anniversary Party. Director Reza Badai became Lee's stepfather when he married Lee's mother Barbara. 1976-1989 Lee worked in her first film at the age of nine. It was a non-speaking role for the film Death of a Stranger. At 14 Lee attended acting workshops taught by Lee Strasberg at the Stage Door Manor Performing Arts Training Center in Lock Sheldrake, New York. Afterwards, she landed a role in the movie The Young Runaways. She also appeared in an episode of Beretta and an episode of The Waltons. Several TV movies followed, including a portrayal of an anorexic teenager in The Best Little Girl in the World for which Lee dropped to 86 pounds under medical supervision. She made her big screen debut playing a blind deaf and mute rape victim in the 1981 slasher film Eyes of a Stranger which she quit school to star in. In 1982, she played a teenager who gets pregnant in the Cameron Crowe scripted high school comedy Fast Times at Ridgemont High which served as a launching pad for several of its young stars while decrying the writing as sexist and exploitative. Roger Ebert was enthusiastic about the acting singling out Lee and writing. Don't they know they have a star on their hands? With the exception of Ridgemont High, and a supporting role in the Rodney Dangerfield comedy Easy Money, 
Lee's early film work consisted of playing fragile, damaged, or neurotic characters in low-budget horror or thriller genre films. She played a virginal princess kidnapped and raped by mercenaries in flesh blood. An innocent waitress pursued by the psychopathic title character in The Hitcher. And a young woman on the verge of a nervous breakdown in Heart of Midnight. 1990-1999 In 1990 Lee made a significant career breakthrough when she was awarded New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Supporting Actress and the Boston Society of Film Critics Award for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayals of two very different prostitutes, the tough streetwalker Trilala who submits to a brutal gang rape in Last Exit to Brooklyn and Susie a teenage prostitute who falls in love with ex-con Alec Baldwin in Miami Blues. Roger Ebert included Last Exit in his list of best movies of 1990 calling Lee's performance brave, though his review of Miami Blues was much less sympathetic, simultaneously criticizing Lee's ability to play dumb roles and praising her ability to play smart roles, Entertainment Weekly in a bar candid compliment called her the Meryl Streep of bimbos. Lee was then cast in her first mainstream Hollywood studio film, the firefighter drama Backdraft in which she played a more conventional role. The girlfriend of lead actor William Baldwin, Lee found more success in the gritty crime drama Rush portraying an undercover cop who becomes a junkie and falls in love with her partner played by Jason Patrick. Her next film single White Female was a surprise box office success, bringing Lee to her largest mainstream audience yet, portraying a mentally ill woman who terrorizes roommate Bridget Fonda. Lee was awarded the MTV Movie Award for Best Villain and nominated for Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Best Actress. Lee co-starred, with Kathy Bates as a tormented, pill-popping woman hiding a history of childhood sexual abuse in the adaptation of Stephen King's novel Dolores Claiborne. Lee achieved her greatest acclaim in the role of Sadie Flood an angry, drug-addicted rock singer living in the shadow of her successful older sister in Georgia. For the role Lee dropped to 90 pounds and sang all her songs live, including a rambling eight-and-a-half-minute version of Van Morrison's Take Me Back. Georgia was met with critical praise. James Berardinelli wrote there are times when it's uncomfortable to watch this performance because it's so powerful, and Janet Maslin of the New York Times described Lee's fierce risk-taking performance and flashes of overwhelming honesty. Lee won New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Actress and Best Actress from the Montreal World Film Festival, as well as an Independent Spirit Award nomination. Some expressed surprise that she was not nominated for an Academy Award, while Winningham was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout the 1990s Lee worked with many independent film directors. She worked with Robert Altman in short cuts playing a phone sex operator in Kansas City. As a streetwise kidnapper, Lee has expressed admiration for Altman and called him her mentor. In a change of pace from her bad girl roles, Lee played the fast-talking reporter Amy Archer in the Coen Brothers comic Homage to 1950s comedy The Hudsucker Proxy. Lee took her first lead role as the writer and critic Dorothy Parker in Alan Rudolph's film Mrs. Parker and the Vicious Circle. She received a Golden Globe Award nomination and a National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Actress as well as Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Best Actress and Fort Lauderdale Film Critics Best Actress Award. In another change of pace, she starred in Annie's Holland's version of the Henry James novel Washington Square as a mousy 19th-century heiress courted by a gold digger. In 1998, she appeared alongside Campbell Scott in the Hallmark Hall of Fame television movie The Love 
Letter. In David Cronenberg's existence, she played a virtual reality game designer who becomes lost in her own creation. 2000 present. Lee had a brief role as a doomed gangster's wife in Sam Mendes' Road to Perdition, and co-starred as Meg Ryan's brutally murdered sister in Jane Campion's erotic thriller in The Cut. After a long period of avoiding prostitute roles, she played alongside Christian Bale as his prostitute girlfriend in the thriller The Machinist. Mick LaSalle of the San Francisco Chronicle commented that as the downtrodden, sexy, trusting, and quietly funny prostitute Lee is of course in her element. Her performance as a manipulative stage mother in Don McKellar's film Child Star won her a genie. Award for Best Performance by an Actress in a Supporting Role in 2005. After many years of wanting to be in a Todd Solondz movie she appeared in Palindromes. She also appeared in the psychological thriller The Jacket alongside Adrian Brody. In recent years Lee appeared in the 2008 ensemble film Synecdoche, New York and has acted in two films written and directed by her then-partner Noah Baumbach, Margot. At the wedding co-starring Nicole Kidman and Greenberg, Lee has said that the roles were not specifically written for her, as Baumbach does not write roles with actors in mind. In 2009, Lee was cast in the Showtime TV series Weeds becoming a regular guest in the eighth season. She also joined Revenge on ABC in 2012. Lee has received three separate career tributes. At the Telluride Film Festival in 1993, a special award for her contribution to independent cinema. From the Film Society of Lincoln Center in 2002. And a week-long retrospective of her film work held by the American Cinematheque at Los Angeles Egyptian Theater in 2001. In 2015, Lee starred in Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. The film, a western set in Wyoming after the Civil War, was released on December 25. Lee along with the rest of the cast appeared at Comic-Con to promote the film in July 2015. Lee's performance has received multiple award nominations at various award ceremonies including her third Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture, her first BAFTA Award nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, and her first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Stage Roles In 1998, Lee took on the lead role of Sally Bowles in Sam Mendes' Broadway revival of the musical Cabaret succeeding Natasha Richardson, who originated the role in Mendes' production. She succeeded Mary Louise Parker in the lead role in Proof on Broadway in 2001. Her other theatrical appearances include The Glass Menagerie Man of Destiny, The Shadow Box Picnic, Sunshine and Abigail's Party. In 2011, she played Bunny in the Broadway revival of House of Blue Leaves in New York City alongside Ben Stiller and Edie Falco. Writing and directing In 2001, Lee co-wrote and co-directed The Anniversary Party, an independently produced feature film about a recently reconciled married couple who assemble their friends at their Hollywood Hills house ostensibly to celebrate their sixth wedding anniversary. As the evening progresses, the party disintegrates into emotional confrontations and bitter arguments as the facade of their happy marriage crumbles. Lee was inspired by her recent experience filming the low-budget Dogme 95 film The King is Alive. Lee and co-writer Alan Cumming drew freely from their personal experiences in the writing of the film. Lee plays an aging actress who makes jokes about her lack of Academy Award nominations and is fearful of losing her bisexual husband. The film was shot in 19 days on digital video and co-starred the pair's real-life Hollywood friends including Kevin Klein, Phoebe Cates, 
Gwyneth Paltrow, Jennifer Beals, John C. Riley Parker, Posey, and Lee's sister Mina Badi. Lee and Cumming jointly received a citation for excellence in filmmaking from the National Board of Review and were nominated for the Independent Spirit Award for Best First Feature and Independent Spirit Award for Best First Screenplay. The movie received generally positive reviews. Other work Lee filmed a role in Stanley Kubrick's final film Eyes Wide Shut as a grieving patient of Dr. Bill Harford who declares her love for him after her father's death. Kubrick wanted to reshoot the scenes but Lee was unavailable due to scheduling conflicts with existence. Instead her scenes were cut. Lee was originally cast as Vincent Gallo's girlfriend in his self-directed film The Brown Bunny and was apparently prepared to perform oral sex on Gallo as the script required. Lee subsequently commented that it just didn't work out and the role was eventually played by Chloe Sevigny. In 1997 she was featured in Faith No More's music video for Last Cup of Sorrow. She was selected as one of America's 10 Most Beautiful Women by Harper's Bazaar magazine in 1989 and served as a jury member at the 57th Venice International Film Festival in 2000. Personal life In 1982 Lee's father Vic Morrow was accidentally killed along with two child actors. When a helicopter stunt went wrong during the filming of Twilight Zone, the movie, Lee and her sister filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Warner Brothers. John Landis, and Steven Spielberg. They settled out of court a year later, and the terms of the settlement have never been made public. Lee has described herself as shy, introverted and averse to Hollywood publicity and scandal. Speaking about her roles in smaller, independent films, she said, I'd much rather be in a movie that people have really strong feelings about than one that makes a hundred million dollars but you can't remember because it's just like all the others. She met independent film writer-director Noah Baumbach in 2001 while starring on Broadway in Proof. The couple married on September 2, 2005. Their son Roma Emanuel was born on March 17, 2010. Lee filed for divorce on November 15, 2010 in Los Angeles, citing irreconcilable differences. She sought spousal support as well as primary custody of the couple's son with visitation. For Baumbach, the divorce was finalized in September 2013. Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?